Hello friends. Today we are going to um, deal with a video lecture on measures of central tendency and dispersion for discrete data. This is the third exercise in um, data analysis and business modeling lab. So for this I have taken a sample data of uh, uh, the students marks nearly 50 students marks in uh, the cycle test one um, especially related to the data analysis and business modeling lab here I have taken 50 marks 50 students marks in the particular subject and I am going to calculate the central tendency of the given data as you have studied uh, statistics for management in your first semester you know the basic concepts are related to central tendency so here I am going to find or I am going to calculate mean or the average usually we used to say the median the mode quartile percentile maximum and minimum and the range the range is the maximum minus minimum and the standard deviation mean deviation and coefficient of variance so these are all the things we are going to calculate with the simple steps so it is very easy to follow uh, you please uh, have a um, view in uh, the, this particular watch this particular video so that uh, it will be very easy for you to learn these basic steps related to excel so shall we proceed as i said this is the sample data i have checked, taken for nearly 50 students in first cycle test so first we are going to find out uh, mean or the average here I'm going to um, help you uh, in calculating each and every concept and uh, that's about uh, this particular session and we will carry out the other things uh, most probably uh, finding the descriptive statistics what with the help of a data analysis tab in our next exercise so shall we start right first we are going to discuss about or calculate about mean or average what I'm going to do I have the set of marks as a sample data I'm just clicking insert tab there you have a function insert function you just click this you can find a window right you have a window there we have a lot of functions right so what we are going to take here we are going to take average right I have average if in your excel version if you couldn't find these list of functions right what you can do you can go with type what you are looking for you just type it click go automatically that function will be displayed in this list right since I have already made it I have an average I'm just clicking average tab I'm giving OK right we have a window that is function argument window there it have been asking the number one what I'm going to do I'm going to select the marks of the students nearly 50 entries I'm selecting it I'm giving OK right actually I have to keep my cursor here and then make so I'm just clicking and deleting this here I'm going making my cursor here and then going with function key I'm choosing average from the list giving OK in number one I'm selecting the marks I'm giving OK yes I've got mean or average that's it you have another um, way also to get the average I just uh, work it out in this particular tab right first you click where the answer should come I'm just making entering into the particular space I'm going with equal to sign and I'm starting to type average I'm getting a drop box here I'm clicking it and then what I'm doing I'm just opening the bracket here we have a number I'm just clicking this and I'm here 
selecting all the values that is the 50 entries right i'm just closing the bracket just making an enter that's it i'm getting the answer got it this is the another way with the help of typing with the, with the help of typing equal to average if i'm if i need mean i want to type average as its function i must select the values what have been listed at then closing the bracket i'm just giving enter so this is the second step where you can find or you can calculate average using excel right so likewise for each and every uh, option we can do the second method also this is for your uh, understanding but what in our session we are going to discuss only about using function command okay second we are going to find or calculate the median of the given marks here i am keeping the, my cursor going with function i am just making a click we have the second median yes i have a list in median i am selecting this giving ok again the function arguments window opens here i am going to select the how values what i have taken as a sample data and i'm giving okay now i got the median so simple again we are going to calculate mode i'm just clicking the cursor here where my answer should be displayed i'm going with insert function command i have a insert function window i'm going to choose from the list mode Yes, mode I can find here. Giving OK. I have a window where I'm going to select the same step. All the values. Select it. Give OK. You can get mode. This mode is. This is the uh, value which have which have uh, often are um, uh, higher times it have been displayed in this mark list. So seventy is the mark which have been uh, taken by most of the students out of 50 so that's mode then we are going to calculate the quartile again i'm keeping the cursor here i'm selecting the insert function here i must check it out whether quartile function is in the list i have list click the you okay here i have uh, um, uh, two options that is one is array and another one is quartile usually uh, out of a 50 i can go with either one first quartile or second quartile or third quartile it's up to you i'm selecting i'm just I, I i need only the first quartile marks if you want you can go with the second quartile third quartile the same steps has to be followed so here i'm selecting arrays arrays as the marks you select all the marks and then here i need for the first quartile uh, the 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 answer itself have been displayed so i'm giving okay yes i found the quartile of the first quarter right likewise you can go for with the same values second quartile third quartile fourth quartile likewise right i have found only the first quartile the next thing what we are going to do find is percentile i'm keeping the the cursor here I'm selecting the function again I'm searching for percentile I have percentile okay I'm getting an array as well as k, k value first I have to select the array value I'm selecting the 50 entries of the students marks and in k if I want the percentile for 100 i must choose one if i need for 50 i must choose 0.5 so here i need for 100 i'm choosing one right and i'm giving okay so 96 is the percentile value right so that's your calculated percentile and uh, for the next uh, step that is in order to calculate the maximum number of uh, the marks given 
right what is the maximum marks what I'm going to do I'm just going to make my cursor here I'm going to give equal to symbol right I'm going to type maximum M A X I'm getting max right starting with open bracket here in number I'm selecting the values right and I'm closing my bracket I'm just making an enter right so out of these 50 marks the maximum mark is 96 a foul second I'm going to find the minimum right here the same concept I'm just going for a equal to symbol I'm going to type minimum M I N yes I have function I'm selecting it and I'm opening the bracket I will get a number I'm clicking this and I'm going to select the values yes I have selected the values right I'm closing the bracket and then I'm just giving an enter yes 27 is the minimum mark out of this 50 entry see when you doesn't open a bracket or you close the bracket you will not get your answer as well as after opening and closing the bracket with the maximum or minimum function you have to give enter automatically you can get the maximum value and minimum value here in range what we are going to find we are going to minus or subtract the uh, from maximum value to minimum value right we are going to subtract the minimum value from the maximum value so we will get the range so what I am going to do here I am just clicking this equal to maximum I have it right, right. I have number instead of selecting the whole value I am select selecting this particular because we have already found out okay so I am selecting the maximum value the selected close the bracket and minus minimum open the bracket again for number I am selecting minimum select this close the bracket just go with enter yes this is a range very simple but you have to clearly make it or if you doesn't find found out maximum or minimum straight away you can go with range you you select for maximum value you select the values again instead of selecting this particular maximum and minimum value you have to select all the details or values what I have entered all the 50 data what I have entered right instead you found so you find maximum and minimum then go with my step right we have found range now now we are going to calculate standard deviation with the help of the function standard deviation I'm going again for function command and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, having a list of uh, functions here stdev this is what we call it as for standard deviation you click this you go with ok you will have numbers you select it all the 50 values I've selected I'm just giving ok yes we got standard deviation value right now we are going for minimum de mean deviation here in mean deviation I'm selecting insert function I'm having a list of uh, functions where mean deviation is AVDEV -E that what we call it as mean deviation AVE -E, that is average deviation DEV is mean deviation I'm selecting this particular function I'm giving OK 
here in number column i'm just selecting the 50 values of the students marks I'm giving okay yes i got the mean deviation too right so we have went to the we came to the end of this exercises finally we are going to find the coefficient of variance as you know the uh, formula for a coefficient of variance is um, standard deviation divided by mean that is what we have found as average standard deviation we have found divided by average into 100 so this 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 the uh, formula for uh, finding coefficient of variance so what i'm going to do here i'm just going with cursor equal to symbol what i'm going to do i'm going to select standard deviation so here i'm opening the bracket standard deviation i'm clicking this particular value i'm closing the bracket i'm going with divide symbol again coefficient of variance, variance is standard deviation value divided by average here we have found average i'm clicking this right before that i'm starting with opening bracket i'm clicking this particular mean average value I'm closing the bracket now this value should be multiplied by 100 then only i will get the answer for coefficient of variance so what i am doing i am taking multiplication symbol and then I'm typing 100 that's it just going for enter yes this is the value for coefficient of variance you just keep the formula for coefficient of variance that is standard deviation divided by average or the median sorry mean into 100 that what the formula for coefficient of variance you make it with the help of function you have completed mean uh, median mode quartile percentile maximum minimum range standard deviation mean deviation coefficient of variance with the help of excel so hope you have understood uh, the concept of calculating uh, the measures of central tendency and dispersion of discrete data we'll discuss descriptive statistics in our next session using data analysis tab in microsoft excel thank you friends